hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here like and subscribe so in today's video we're learning about how to get rich from buying shares so stay tuned and do not miss out those of you who are still feeling lazy me i don't have kind words but if you're feeling lazy and you have excuses for not having started buying shares or maybe you claim that you tried using the app and it didn't work so you gave up just stand up get on a bus or get on a vehicle but find your way to long acres 32 lubu road the process only takes you five to ten minutes open an account a broker's account with uh, the stockbrokers zambia or rather the people from stockbrokers zambia yeah. so open an account with them they take you probably five to ten minutes and you'll be done they'll give you all the details that you need in case you're tuning in for the first time and you're saying why is this guy ranting about shares what are shares if you're watching the nbc news you should try it you see those things that pass at the bottom when it's business news bata to kwacha cec to those things that pass here, yeah, that simply means those companies are, are begging you, advertising to you, please buy us. We want you to be a share. We want you to buy, to be an owner of this and this company, to own shares in this and this company. And it's a fancy thing because it, it simply means whenever you go, let's say, let's say you have shares in ShopRite, whenever you go to ShopRite, you know you're buying from yourself because you're part of that company. Whenever you have you're buying Airtel or things like that, you're repaying yourself because you're a part owner of Airtel. Whenever you're buying Zambia Sugar, you're repaying yourself. It's like local is like you're reinvesting in yourself because you're a part owner of that company. And there are so many other companies that, that are like that. CEC, whenever you're using electricity or if you're a Power Dynamos fan, you know you're reinvesting into your own brand because you own shares in that company. So it's a very beautiful thing to own shares. And it's not just those things that you own and then you're happy about but it's those things that you own and it also comes back to pay you one way or the other so how do you now become rich of the lusaka stock exchange or from buying shares from any other part of the world so uh the best way or the simplest way i can put it is there's something called share price appreciation so if let's say uh at the beginning of the year zambia sugar shares cost you two kwacha and then november comes and those shares are now 10 kwacha per share so it simply means if i bought shares in that company and i invested 200 kwacha and we divide that 200 let's for now let's just forget about all those amounts that the stock broker gets because they're very minimal so let's say i invest 200 divided by two i have 100 shares so i have 100 shares and it cost me 200 kwacha to buy them let's follow until november right now zambia sugar shares are costing you 10 kwacha per share so it simply means i have 100 shares initially when i bought these shares there were two kwacha but now they are 10 kwacha so i'm going to say the same 100 shares that i have i multiply them by 10. so if i decide to if i decide to now sell those 100 shares i now have 100 times 10 which is like 1000 kwacha so now I now decide what I'm going to do with that 1,000 kwacha. But then one principle that I believe is true and I believe everyone should hold, hold on to, especially at the beginning when you're starting out this journey of buying shares, is you shouldn't rush to, whenever you have a dividend, you, you rush to, in, to use that money because at the beginning, the dividends that you'll be getting or the, the money that you'll be getting out of shares is very minimal. So you need to ensure you reinvest everything, even for the first five years if it's possible. Try to invest as much as possible. Add minimum if you can, but reinvest whatever amount you're getting out. Because Rich Dad always says, as long as money enters your asset column, it should never leave your asset column. It's a slave to work for you. So once money enters, don't take it out for luxuries, especially at the beginning. Wait for that money to first grow. Let it buy more assets. Then afterwards, you can think of now beginning to buy luxuries, beginning to buy things that you want. But at the beginning, do not temper with the money that you're putting in when you put in money to work for you let that money work until it reaches its potential its full potential yeah another company you can look at is lafarge same example lafarge began the year with a share selling for two kwacha come november lafarge shares are selling for 13 kwacha so it simply means if you bought 100 shares we still use the same example you bought 100 shares maybe use like a 200 for cutting off all those things for calculations for because those guys only get a minimum amount november you now have 100 shares times 13 so it simply means you have 1300 questions just from you selling it. so for cec this year for someone who had let's say you have 1000 shares in cec 
it probably costed you maybe 2,000 kwacha samu to buy those 1,000 shares. And then if you decide to hold on to those shares, let's say you're not doing the Lafarge one, you're not doing the Zambia Sugar one where you sell, but you just decide to hold on to them. At the end of the year, they declare their dividend to be 0.38. So it simply means for those 1,000 shares, you multiply it by 0.38. So you make 380 kwacha off those shares that you have just from holding on. And then if you want, you can invest in the same company or if you feel maybe the dividend that they gave was lousy, you can try another company. But at the beginning, try to invest as much as you can. Try to avoid using, buying luxuries from the money that you've set aside for assets. Yeah, because you're supposed, whenever money enters your asset column, it shouldn't get out until it reaches its full potential. But then, for Airtel, unlike Zambia Sugar and um, Lafarge, which have gone up, so you see the beauty of actually owning a lot of shares or having a vast portfolio, not even just in the same category, let's say only construction companies and whatnot, but having a vast portfolio of shares is the time some other shares are going up, others are actually coming down. So while Lafarge has gone up, while Zambia Sugar has gone up, for Airdo they've actually gone down, like the share price has actually come down. But it doesn't go down forever, at some point it's going to go back up. So. Um, I was saying Airtel began the year at 29 kwacha 49 ngwe. This is now November. Airtel shares are 18 kwacha. At, if let's say you wanted to buy shares that are above, for you are not a fan of these 2 kwacha shares or 5 kwacha shares, you want something a bit bigger, you can start with Airtel because Airtel's dividend is usually, is usually around 3 kwacha. So you can start with Airtel. Right now it's 18. Then at some point when it surges, you can decide to sell. If it doesn't, you just accept the dividends that they're going to give you. But all these are strategies that you can use when it comes to buying shares in these different companies. So Airtel is another one that I wanted to talk about today. So, AECI Mining, it's a company that deals with mining. So for them, they actually started the year at 20 kwacha, 15 goi. Come, uh, what month is this? November, they're now selling for 29 kwacha, one way so it simply shows you that someone would be saying no you can't make money you can't get rich off the Osaka stock exchange but if your portfolio is diverse and you're patient and you're disciplined enough you can always make money even just from the Osaka stock exchange so guys let's start buying shares whether it's 10 shares it's 100 shares if, you're, if you've been feeling lazy get on that bus get on that car go to Luo Road go to Osaka open that if you have the app get the app and even if you have the app you still need to open an account with the brokers because at some point you need to sell those shares so either way you're stuck you still need brokers you still need to open that brokerage account with people from stock brokers zambia set off than we were last year if you didn't have shares last year today before december 25th at least buy 10 shares or even five shares if you can but let's start thinking of buying shares because even from the circus to exchange you can become rich you can make so much money i receive messages of people who are making who are breaking ground in buying shares and now they're even thinking of advancing so lastly i just ranked the luce shares the luce companies that i feel have performed the best this year and it's up to you to buy if you're still going to ask me what shares should you buy i'll still tell you buy cec but i'll just give a rank of how i feel the shares have performed this year so for me first number one this year is lafarge because lafarge jumped from 2 to 13 kwacha the second one is Zambia Sugar. Zambia Sugar started at 255 and it's now 10 kwacha. Lafarge, then number three is CEC. CEC started at 165 and it's now 265 somewhere there. Then the fourth one, I'll give it to Airtel because Airtel started at, uh, or oh, rather a company that you should be looking at. The fourth one is Airtel because Airtel started at 29, it's now at 18. So you can buy while it's low and when it goes up, you can always sell. Then the last one that I would say I would advise maybe someone to buy is AECI Mining, which started at 20 and went to 29. But if you're not sure about all those and you're going to ask me, I'll still tell you to buy CEC because that's always, you can never go wrong with CEC from what, from what I know. Yeah, so let's start buying shares. You still have questions. The only way that you're going to learn is when you jump into these markets. Let's get aggressive with our finances and with our financial freedom, with creating wealth. And sometimes it means you might have some money, but sacrifice that money and buy shares. Yeah, there's, everyone wants to enjoy, even I want to enjoy, but sometimes you just need to strike a balance, sacrifice a bit and 
your future is going to be proud of the decisions that you made today so let's start buying shares so if you love this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe share leave your comments down below and yeah thank you for watching